and say on the telly. <laughs> Thank you. Just our little gag of tea there in the ad break. Later on in the show, we've got some amazing record attempts, but it's time now for my next guest. Now, she used to get up at the crack of dawn for big breakfast. I know all about that misery. We get jet lag at half nine. <laughs> <laughs> But Denise survived the early mornings and she's gone on to headline in the West End and on Broadway. Her love of musical theatre is being put to good use as she guides a classroom of kids as they try to stage a West End musical for Sky One's Hairspray the, mus the School Musical. Will you please welcome the lady herself, the very lovely Denise Van Houten. Come on, thank you. <laughs> Wow, wow, Denise, you're sure looking Hello. good. Thank you. Somebody's happy. <laughs> yeah, things are good. Very good. Do you know what? Me. I love the show. It's a nice show it's because lovely. it's not about making stars, is it? You know That's what I mean? That's right. Yeah. It's about giving these kids an opportunity, yeah. normal kids, yeah. you know, to perform in, yeah. in the West End, yeah. which is brilliant. And do you know Very what's rewarding. great? They're all taking it so seriously. Yeah. They're all working so hard. You know, you can see this determination on them, and it's just. Do you feel like the teacher? Um, yeah, although it's hard because, you know, I just want to be their friend, really, yeah. so I'm there as their sort of mentor. But yeah. um, we've got a brilliant team of experts helping out and they've really warmed to the kids and the kids have warmed to them and it's all coming together nicely, so hopefully it'll be a great show. Are you strict with them? Uh, sometimes I have to be because they're teenagers and, you know, they're not used to the discipline of having to work hard to put something like this together. Yeah. We only have a very limited time to do it. So, yes, yeah, sometimes I have to be a little bit school mistress. No, you have to be, yeah, which, you're quite um, right. Do you know so I'm quite good at actually. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, ever, do you see yourself in them? You know, when you, you, yeah, you see them all? Yeah, I yeah. do. And, you know, for me, because I went to a stage school, so I was really lucky to have the opportunity to sing and dance um, most days of the week and to perform professionally. And I loved it. And, you know, these are kids that have never done anything before and they've had no proper training. But the love of it's there, you can see. And I think it's because of the success of a lot of the shows that they've seen on TV, yeah. like the Joseph show and the Maria show. Yeah. And they've all fallen in love with musical theatre, but they just... Yeah don't know where to start. So they've got the same passion and the drive that I definitely had when I was that age. It's had a big renaissance, hasn't it, musicals? Yeah, you know, it's like good, isn't it? Musical mad, you know what yeah. I mean? Like the, and there's some cracking ones on. Yeah, I mean, and Hairspray is the perfect choice for this because, you know, it's colourful and it's there are so life, many different characters it? Yeah. in it. So it was the perfect choice. What, what was your first role? Um, my first professional role was Les Miserables. Oh, was it? Yeah, when I was 11 years old. Were you an Annie? Um, I auditioned for the tour of Annie and I got the role of, I think it was, is it Tessa or Tess? One of oh, the, one of the orphans, But it was a tour yeah. and my mum yeah. wasn't prepared for me to go on tour because I was too young. Yeah. Mm. So Les Mis was the first. It's no life for kids on the road, you know, is it? Not little yeah. ones, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, it depends. You know, you get your tutor and everything yeah. and they're well looked after. So I'm not anti it. It's just at yeah. that time my mum, you know, I've got a brother and sister and she wanted to keep me at home, yeah. keep an eye on me. <laughs> Sensible woman, that's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> Look, we've got a clip here now from Sunday oh. show on Sky One. Watch this, folks. Francesco? Um, yeah, I thought I need someone to reply. Would yeah, you can, I'll be Tracy. Uh, I'll, okay. You've got to look like you love me, Francesco. Okay. He won't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know a palooka like me is not worthy of a groundbreaking extremist like you, but it's a little scuffle when Amber threw it in my face after I told her. I would rather be with you. You jealous? Oh, that's, really good. <laughs> that's, that's good, isn't cool. it? Thank you. Aww. Again, this is a, another telly's changing, you know. Now, isn't it? It's gone. It's going from the cynical stuff that we, we all had, and it's starting to soften, which is lovely. Yeah. Because you I'm... see all this stuff, and you find yourself like I used to on surprise, surprise, smiling. You think, why's my face aching? Because I've smiled for an hour yeah, here at these Yeah, I kids. mean, it's, it's nurture, not torture. You know, we wanted to show yeah. them how it's done properly and to be nice to them and encourage them. Yeah. And, of course, there will be tears, but when you're a, a teenager, you get used to rejection, even if it's, you know, you ask somebody out on a date and they say no. You so, get over it quick, Yeah, yeah. they do, and they find yeah. they bounce yeah. back. But it's been really good, and, of course, Lee, my boyfriend, came in to help out, and I've had a few different people that I've invited along, because I'm producing the show that's going to go on in the West End. So he came in, and I thought it was really good for him 
him to talk to some of the boys because just like them, Lee went to a normal comprehensive school and actually sort of fell into the business later, you know, when yeah. he, once he'd left yeah. school. So being a normal, typical lad who likes his football, you know, I thought it, he could give them words of wisdom yeah. Yeah. of what it's like when you go into the world of theatre. How is he? Is he all right? He's good, yeah, yeah. he's really good. He's still loving doing Joseph and he's doing his eight shows a week. I was going to say, really do you see much of him? You know, when you're in the theatre, it's, unless it's like midnight, isn't well, it? Well, I do now. Yeah. That's why I was doing a breakfast radio show, but I, I left partly for that reason and because of all the other work that I was doing, but so that we could see each other more. And Denise, it's... you've done your stints at getting up <laughs> the crack of dawn. I know. It's, it's a nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, you're up at half four. I used to sit on the end of the bed and cry. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're fighting jet lag all day. I know. Oh, it's, keep it's, it's really hard. Over lunch, I'd be falling asleep. Cause... And you're in bed by eight o'clock, and you sort of feel like a kid who's oh, been sent yeah. to bed again, especially in the summer. That's yeah. the worst, isn't it? No, no, you're a nice owl. You like me, you know, come and do it. <laughs> Definitely. That's why I like doing theatre. And yeah, me, yeah. you know, because then afterwards you can go out here, yeah, can't yeah, you? Have yeah. a good time. Yeah. Do you really go to bingo? I do. Oh, well, I used to go yeah. more, but um, I love bingo. I think it's brilliant. I used to go with the girls. Yeah! <laughs> I've got one of those jumbo bingo pens, so I'm very pro. What are they called? A dobbers? Yeah. yeah. It's just a, the dabber. That. That's it. How many books do you play? Very serious looking. Is it's a dabber. How many books do you play? Um. Well, we used to go, we'd go and do, like, because we'd just do it for a bit of fun, really, so yeah. I wouldn't take it too seriously. But we'd do the link, you know, where they link to all the other bingo yeah. halls. Yeah, oh, uh, the big link. I like that, yeah. so, yeah, yeah. trying to time it so we get there for the big win. Yeah. Do you know what I... have never won. My the only time I've ever quit. done it, I've sat there and I've gone... <laughs> sweat running off me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm only waiting for 12. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a pensioner next to me, she's got about 19 books, and she's going... <laughs> <laughs> And says me, you've missed one there, <laughs> bang. And I'm like, <laughs> what kind of minds have you got? It's frightening, I mean, really. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not allowed to talk, are you? No. People take it really seriously. Yeah. And, of course, I didn't know that, being a chatterbox. Yeah. With all my friends, it's a chance for us to sort of catch up socially. It's all gossiping. And then someone goes, will you please be quiet? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, be very quiet. And it's like if you have more than one go on the one-armed bandits in the <laughs> interval, there's murder. They have you lynched outside, <laughs> really? seriously. You'll have two goes and then, you've had more than two <laughs> And you've got like this ton of crimply in behind you kicking off. You're like, ooh, 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 I'm getting out of here. <laughs> now you've got a new show coming on ICV, have you? Yes, I have. We're... <laughs> ton of crimply. <laughs> I love that. It's a really good phrase. <laughs> so yeah, we've um after the hairspray thing, I'm doing a show for ITV, which is called Now 1983. And it's a special, we're bringing back... Do you remember the compilation albums? Now that's what I call yeah. 1983, yeah. 1984. Well, we brought back all, most of the artists that featured on the 83 album. Oh, so it was great with a, a live sort of studio audience filmed as live. So it was brilliant. And Do we've got, like, Kajagoogoo... Oh, <laughs> all these old acts, you know, Nick Kershaw, lovely Tony Hadley, Paul oh, Young. Oh, Tony Hadley's fabulous. Yeah, he's Have brilliant. you heard him sing him with the big bands now? He's brilliant. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's, got, he's got a real... Big band voice, Tony Hadley. Yeah, Hadwin. well, he did Chicago, didn't yeah, he, as yeah, well? Yeah. So he's got a fantastic yeah. live voice. So, yes, yeah, so that's really, really good fun. So that's on soon. Do you know the 80s for me? Seems like yesterday. Well, I can remember of it, but it does. Yeah. <laughs> but it does it? I'll be watching that. Yeah, no, it's good. Then like I'll be it. up doing me dancing. <laughs> 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 Denise, it's lovely to see you. Thank you. You're lovely glowing. To see you. you are glowing. Thank you. Isn't she, eh? Look at her. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, put your hands together for this lovely lady. Come on, let's hear it for Denise. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Annie Sanchez. Good to see you.